Good morning, Brisa Geckos. Good morning, Ms. Winkleman. Good morning, Ms. Atelier. Welcome back to school. Yes, thank you. Today is Thursday, May 6, 2021. And for breakfast, you have Cocoa Puff cereal. And lunch is Mandarin Orange Parfait, yum, mm -hmm. or chicken and waffles. And both have tater tots and mixed fruit. Sounds good. Nice. Well, we want to start off with some big thank yous. We got a nice appreciation week letter. This was from my, our friend Madison. She is a kindergartner in Miss Yoshioka's class. And I was so impressed, Madison, with your spelling and how nice you did in writing this because there are some really big words in here. You said, thank you for working hard for our community. Love Madison. That's and then she has this word. picture. I know. I was so impressed with the word community and I can tell she spelled it all on her own. You did such a good job, Madison. And then we have another thank you, right, Mrs. Swinkleman? We had oh, from Ms. Yes. each. Yeah. So this was from Delaney, Delaney Vida. And for mine, she put, Dear Miss Attili, you made this school year fun. I wish I could be at Breesis forever. You're the best. Love Delaney Vita. Yes. And then she has Breesis geckos and it says, yay, yes. school. Yes. Oh, and, cool. mine, and mine was very, very similar. And you know what is exciting to me is that Delaney is an online student. And so for her to be online all this year and then to be saying that we've made school fun, that just touches my heart in a special way. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you so much, Delaney, for spending some time and, and appreciating us this week. And I just want to put a shout out to Delaney's mom too, because she also appreciated teacher. So we had a special giveaway um, celebration um, right close to dismissal yesterday. And we had some teachers who got additional gifts um, of appreciation. And so I want to just put a special shout out to Miss um, Vita as well. So thank you so much for thinking about us. Yes, thank you. Well, we have some great shares. Here is a fourth grade friend who was all ready for Cinco de Mayo yesterday. I think um, some staff members had a taco that big that was made by our um, wonderful ladies in the lunchroom. They cooked a feast for us wow. in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, and it was so, so good. I loved it. Yes. I'm sure everybody else we did. We all too. ate so, so much, as much as that. <laughs> yes, I think, I think so. <laughs> I had at least that much food yesterday. <laughs> well, Andy, you know what? Speaking of today, too, my goodness, we're going to be so excited because those desserts have been rolling in. And yes. oh my gosh. So, whatever we didn't eat yesterday, I hope we have room because we are going to be eating desserts from beginning to end today, too. So, thank you, parents, for thinking about us again today. <laughs> yes, I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner yesterday. And then today is just going to be dessert all day long. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. This is um, our friend June, and she enjoyed May the 4th be with you um, the day before yesterday and there she is with a little craft that she made I can tell that's Chewbacca June that is so cute and she has her little lightsaber pencil with her too <laughs> very cute thank you for that share and then we have some appreciation shares. So this is Rue and Theo, and they are both kindergartners, and they wanted to tell their teachers how much they appreciate them. Very cute. Like, nice little picture there. And here is a message special from Andrew to Miss Carr. Here it is. Thank you for being the best teacher ever, Miss Carr. You are so nice, and I like you the best. Oh, how sweet. That's I am awesome. sure you made her day, Andrew. That is adorable. Thank you for sharing that. And then we have another special message from two friends to their teachers. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're the best teacher, and I love you. I love you, Miss Beavis. Thank you for all the things you do for me. <laughs> I love you, Miss Foster. I love all the good work that you do. Bye. Aww. Yay. Aww. What a nice message. Thank you guys for sending that. I am sure you made their day. Well, we have a few more wishes of appreciation from our Spark students. They wanted to make sure everybody felt appreciated at Barisa, so they have some more messages for staff members today. Here they are. Hi, Ms. Dominguez. Happy Staff Appreciation Day, and thank you for helping out around the school. Thank you, Ms. Terry, for being a great aide and staff at recess, even in these hard times. I hope you have a great summer, and happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you, Ms. Bartolo, for helping people for ELA and math. 
Hi, Ms. Dollar. I would just like to appreciate you for helping our preschoolers at Breeses and have an amazing rest of your day. Hi, Ms. Becker. I just want to say thank you for everything you do here at Breeses and for the preschoolers, and I want to say have a great day. Bye. Hi, Ms. Foster. I would like to thank you for teaching kindergarten at Breeses and have an amazing rest of your year. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Rick, for being our speech teacher here at Breeses. All the students here treasure you, and the work you do is invaluable. Hi, Ms. Milan. You're a great staff member, and keep up with the great work. Hi, Ms. Milan. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate you and that you're doing a really good job, and I hope you have a good day. Ms. Latina, thank you so much for teaching Reese's preschoolers. It takes a lot, and I mean a lot, of patience to be a preschool teacher, and not just anybody can do it. So thank you so much. We appreciate you here at Reese's. Hi, Ms. Demas. So I just wanted to say that you're a great teacher, and you should keep up the great work, and you're just a great teacher. So yeah. Hello, Mr. Tilly. I wanted to say you make every day a peaceful day, and we really appreciate having you here. Have a wonderful day at Princess. Thank you, Mrs. Jamie, for helping out where it's needed. Mrs. Brosili, I just wanted to say thank you for teaching uh, or for helping us uh, for the school year. And I just wanted to say everybody appreciates you and we all love you and care about you. Thank you, Mrs. Olson, for being a great second grade teacher. And I bet all your second graders love you being their teacher. And thank you, Miss Terry, for being the great aid that you are. And I really hope that you guys all have a great year at recess this year. Thank you, Mrs. Messenger, for making sure that all of us recess students are safe. Hi, Ms. Lester. I just wanted to say thank you for, uh, for educating the second graders. And everybody appreciates you. And I just wanted to say thank you for everything and teaching the, um, the second graders. Hi, Miss Annie. It's been a great year, but the one thing that has hasn't been so great is this disease, and it sucks. And but but the good part about it is that you've been fighting it off and been a part a part of recess community and helping people around the cafeteria and classrooms, and that's all that really matters about um, your work and keeping everybody else safe around the school. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Rapicelli, for making sure that all of our second graders are well taught and smart. Hi, Ms. Dobbins. Thank you for everything you do for Breeses. We all love and appreciate you so much, and you make me so proud to be a gecko. Um, I can't wait to see you back in person. And again, thank you for everything you do. We all love and appreciate you so much. Hi, Ms. Koshak. I just wanted to let you know that you, you've been a great teacher this whole year, and um, keep up the good work. and. You, even though it's been a rough year, you've been still fighting off this disease. Yay. Well, thank you so much, um, Spark students. You made everybody feel so special. Thank you for all of those messages. And we will have more recognition and appreciation from the Spark students tomorrow. Well, a reminder, we are still taking um, anything that you would like to share, pictures, videos, um, messages, cards, anything that you would like for us to share on morning announcements to show appreciation to any staff members, we are happy to do that. You can send any of those to News at kyrene.org. And we are looking forward today to dessert day. So thank you so much for families who sent in anything um, to be able to enjoy that today for our staff. Reminder, tomorrow is beach day, right, Ms. Swinkleman? We're yes. going to have our stuff all ready. We hope that you do too, students. So beach hats, sunglasses, um, fun beachy clothes, um, anything you would like to wear except bathing suits, we would love for you to come all dressed and celebration of 115 days of peace. Yes. Reminder, today is Thursday, so meal service is available at the district office. You would be picking up four meals for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for breakfast, lunch, and dinner between the hours of 9 to noon and 3 to 6 for any child 18 or younger at the corner of Warner and Kyrene if you are interested. They are out there for you today. Mm -hmm. 
And a reminder to coding club friends, you are meeting after school, whether it's virtually or in person. Um, Ms. Klotz is looking forward to seeing you and we're looking forward to seeing all of your work and projects on Techie Tuesday next week. Mm -hmm. All right, with that, Ms. Swingleman, I think it's time to talk about peace. Wonderful. My gosh, so much going on here at Breezes. All right. Well, Ms. Attila, think about yesterday. It was Cinco de Mayo. It was Wednesday. Um, I know my tummy was full. That was for sure. I was hoping, though, that you're going to tell us that it was also peaceful. So let me just ask you that wonderful question that I ask every single day. Was yesterday a peaceful day at Breezes? Well, yesterday was a big day of celebration. Like you said, it was Cinco de Mayo. It was Teacher Appreciation, Teacher Appreciation day. day. Really big day for us. We gave away prizes at the end of the day. It was a wonderful day. But the best days are made by being peaceful. Yes. And it was a peaceful oh. day. Congratulations, oh. Reese's Geckos. We are proud of you for being respectful, responsible, and safe. That brings us to 119 days of peace. We need 11 more to get to our next oh. peace day goal of 130. Oh, it's still within our reach. We can do it, boys it and girls. It is. It is. All right. Every day counts. All right. Well, boys and girls, let's make sure that today is another peaceful day. At this time, let's have you please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's have a peaceful day. Bye, Brisa Skeckos. Enjoy your moment of inspiration.